Hello and welcome back. Toronto Regionals top eight time here in, well, at Toronto. Brampton, Ontario, technically. Um, but top eight match. We did a straw poll. Came down to the wire. You guys voted. Simon Trottier-Lacasse, French-Canadian from Montreal, Quebec, Canada. And, and round seven, Savage E. <laughs> Noah, Noah Bujack coming back for more here in top eight. Uh, kind of a shame for old Noah. He could have faced any of the Trevs. He had a 50% chance of hitting any of those matchups. And he gets the one person that styled on him <laughs> day one, round seven. Here. S Simon's got to be a favorite in this matchup. Uh, they know each other's decks from yesterday, so I won't go into the finer details yet, but things Noah has seen that we know he's seen. Mew FCO for that free retreat. Watch and learn pseudo wudo. And as we all know, Noah's definitely caught the heat from the kid, Articuno's Tri Edge. <laughs> you know, I, I'm glad. It's just excitement all about. I know a lot of people are excited about uh, potentially Russell versus Trev. Uh, good news is if Tre if Russ wins and moves on, he's probably going to face another Trev. Um, Simon? Uh, the winner of this match plays against the winner of the Russ match. <laughs> no way. All right. Well, there you go. So uh, it's either next round. It'll be either one of these two and whomever wins Russ and Trev, Blastoise and Trevenant, or it's going to be a Trev Mirror. So you all can pick that if you want. <laughs> <laughs> I guess. Yeah, bracket. Uh, it, it pretty much goes uh, Trev versus Night March, and the winner of that will play against the winner of Tread versus Trev. <laughs> and then on this side, it is Mew versus Zorogarb, and on the other side of it is Trev versus Blastoise. So, so I think we're going to be picking this bottom bracket all the way up to the finals. So, uh, Simon may have just gotten himself the best positioning within this bracket possible. 100%. The only thing he would have liked more is maybe the following round facing off against Night March because that's mm -hmm. probably favorable because of the Articuno. Yep. Um, and Joltix are incredibly easy to knock out. Even Pumpkaboos aren't too far yep. away. But here we are. We're going to have uh, STL, counter box binder drop, drop top, all that other stuff. Uh, Noah Bujack, Zoro Garb. Um, Noah took the first game down to the wire, and it came down mm -hmm. to like a flash in the pan Articuno. Yep. Counter catcher, counter energy, counter gain, try edge attack on a ditto prism yep. uh, to win that one. What can Noah do to stay in this game? It, it is, he has, I think he has to really leverage that um, the uh, foul plays will work to be a one prize attacker for him there and be able to bring that back with the rescue stretcher and uh, use that at least two times right there. He also has access to uh, the gar Garboder. So that's three to four Nanias attackers right there that he can use and hopefully use those to take out the roadblocks of the Watch and Learn Pseudo Wudos and from there use Zorak GX to clean, up part, to clean up the house from there. That's kind of how I envision it. Um, Simon Simon knows the route to victory for his Zorak deck there. So Absolutely. I, I doubt uh, Noah will be caught with his pants down again with that ditto prism to get tri edge for an easy loss uh, or an easy win if you're sitting in Simon's seat. Simon is playing two Rescue Stretcher. Mm -hmm. He does understand the how crucial those Watch and Learn pseudo Udos are. Mm -hmm. Noah, they're, they're both on the same page. There's no surprises anymore. They've played each other around seven. They've been next to each other all day today playing uh, because of their standings being relatively close. So... No surprises. Everything's out on the table. And uh, I must say, Simon's deck is legitimately built to leverage against GX decks. Yep. And, and, and that's, that's Noah's core strategy as far as, like, draw here. You know, uh, Simon here able to play around that with a bunch of different draw cards there. But Noah relies on Zorg GX to get to those different pieces there. And once it's established, he puts that Garbatox into effect. So, um I'm hoping this turns out a lot better for Noah and a sense for a better game for our viewers, uh, but we'll shall see. And it looks like their headphones are on and uh, getting ready to well, they're flip their coin to see who goes first right now. We just got a dice roll here. Uh, based on what we see uh, on our screen, I think Noah will be going first. Um, Noah probably wants to see that natural Bridget. Doesn't really want to be putting Tapu Lele's and stuff down. Really the wants to stick better. to that single prize game plan. The less the better, 100% there. Um, also, I think another card inclusion in here could be that Roadblock Pseudo Udo to uh, slow down how much bench that uh, Simon could put down there. Maybe slow, you know force him to uh, work around having to bench those Pseudo Udos there and KO them easier. Um, a couple different thoughts there. Going down to the game here in a moment. And... We are almost ready to start 
eventually are they waiting for a thumbs up from us thumbs or? up let's flip some pokes let's play let's play some games so one thing to note um since we are in top eight now it is no longer a swiss rules they are playing 75 minutes of best of three plus three turns so a lot more time here to get the job done and it looks like we're underway with noah going first uh waba in the active not a uh, horrible start no not 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 um certainly there's worse ones he has in the deck something to think about about now that victini with uh uh, the V attack, V, v beat attack, down. V down. Um, that uh, roadblock pseudo Udo would limit the damage output mm -hmm. of a copying yep. V beat downs and V beat down itself. Uh, so we could quickly see Tapu Lele get a Bridget Trubbish number one. <laughs> Is he going to get the ditto? <laughs> I don't think there's too much fear of a ridiculous uh, tri edge play on the ditto too early. Might Now might be the time to put it down. To put it down. Probably going to get a ditto in Zeru here. Um, and definitely want to have the trumpets as well and just have a lot, a lot of different flexibility of what you want to evolve into. But I do think the core strategy here is maybe one Zorg GX there, but uh, it's just scary. He already has to watch and learn Sudo Udo on the bench. Um, Noah putting down the Ditto Prism. Worth noting with Wobbuffet in the active. Won't be able to evolve mm -hmm. the next turn unless he gets that out of the active because of by barricade. So hopefully Noah keeps it in consideration uh, when he's benching his uh, his things. Now, one easy way that Noah could disrupt Simon, he does play that single copy mm -hmm. of red card as well as his A spec being dowsing machine. Yep. So we do know that Simon likes to edge up, uh, set up big plays at the end. Uh, to kind of take those tri-edge knockouts through teammates um, and things of that nature. So that's a good way for Noah to kind of stifle that without using uh, his supporter for the turn. 100% agree there. He, sa he saw that similar strategy when he played against uh, Zach earlier with the um, uh, the shock lock deck, and he was able to consistently repeat going red card, douse machine, and be able to dis completely disrupt that shock lock deck just doing that twice in a row. And I think that would be one of those kind of plays here where he's able to KO Roadblock and also red card at the same turn and really put Simon behind. Because Simon needs big hands to really get going here. Um, doesn't run really run Lily. He just kind of runs, you know, order pads and sycamores just to get to where he needs to be at. Oh, uh, real quick, we have a little issue with the uh, players' headsets right now. So we're going to look into that and we're going to lay off of uh, the details of the game and hand contents. Um, it seems like it's back on. Psychic well, Energy down on Ditto Prism. I'm not saying anything. That's yeah, like uh, play by play is fine as long as not we're doing any. All good. All right there. So just a psychic attachment to the Ditto Prism as mentioned, and a pass order pad is how STL elects to start his turn. That's a head. There we go. He might be. We might have to give him that dice. That, he might have to frame that up. It's been treating him pretty good. Put on, on the a back pedestal, end. something there, maybe like you know. You know, gold it out some. I, that might be the trophy he takes home tonight. It's just a gold plate to die. I was, he's just on fire right now. Order pad, uh, I believe he thumbed that battle compressor to the top. Now, the um, supporters that uh, STL plays, four Sycamore, two teammates, three mm -hmm. VS Seekers, that's it. So the bat, or excuse me. That is not not the true in terms of potential draw and setup supporters. Yep. The other ones are, of course, Guzma and Pokemon Ranger, which we saw against Zach when he was battle compressoring it away. Um, but, you know, maybe just getting a Sycamore in the discard, a as we see there, Giratina, great for that distortion durability. Mm -hmm. um, and now that really unlocks any versus Seeker he drops, uh, he draws for the rest of the game to be able to use a Sycamore on and at least continue that having that draw power. Fun little number that's kind of popped in my head here. When he distortion doors a Zerula and becomes a Zorak there, that puts it at 200 HP. And I think we did see this when they played previously. Even if Simon is under Roadblock, that's still going to be five Pokemon on bench to hit it for exact 200 knockout. Yep, Distortion Door really pulling its weight uh, in this matchup, a as well as against uh, Zach Lesage in the matchup before, softening things up for that tri-edge, making things mm -hmm. instead of two coin flips, just one, uh, things of that nature. So Sycamore throwing a teammates into the discard is very good for Simon because of his versus Seekers. He now has access to it, mm -hmm. and maybe why we didn't see him grab it with that battle compressor, because mm -hmm. he had one in hand and he knew he was going to be yep. pitching it in gonna the middle. going to be pitching it already, yep. Mew FCO coming down uh, free retreat and gives him a great pivot Pokemon and uh, I believe that's the first time we've seen Simon put down uh, an Oricorio obviously yeah. started with it but or excuse me started with the VB down, uh, Victini, the VB down. but the first time he's uh, benched it 
Yeah, yeah, it's one thing I saw him use it in during that Vesequin matchup he had previously. Uh, we didn't have it on stream, but we happened to catch a glimpse of it as uh, uh, walking through the rounds earlier and uh, put a lot of uh, work in uh, against Vesequin. I mean, obviously, Vesequin puts a lot of Pokemon into the discard pile. And that um, Revelation Dance uh, was able to, uh, sorry, not Revolution Dance, Supernatural Dance was able to put in a lot of damage on the board because of that. Uh, we find a Prism Energy going down to the Mew FCO. And Supernatural Dance for, uh, excuse me, not Supernatural Dance, the other attack, the one that does uh, damage. Revelation, it's Revelation Dance. That's it's the other one there. Because a lot of dances. So it's a sta statement in play, does a, a 30 damage base. But if it is not a statement, it does nothing at all. So uh, with the Dimension Valley in play and the weakness applied here, it does hit that Wobble Foot for 60 damage. Interesting uh, that Simon able to uh, commit his energy uh, somewhere else on the board, yet still get some decent damage onto that Wobbuffet, onto the board. Power of Dimension Valley. Power of Dimension Valley. Incredibly strong card, only accessible through Expanded. Um, and with Noah maybe looking to shut down the Mew FCOs, um, the only thing in his deck aside from maybe Giratina and Oricorio that can leverage the power of Dimension Valley, mm -hmm. less concerned about it um, being knocked off early in the game. 100% there. Um, trying to see what Noah's eyeing here. You definitely need to see a flowstone here soon to be able to get this Rob fit out of the active spot. Um, but he's looking hard to retreat it, possibly. He may be eyeing down because he's mainly retreated here. He does have the uh, Trash Lands Garboder in hand, so he can't start doing that initial strategy we were mentioning there to go with the 90x attackers. Opting to course instead for 9, hoping to dig for um, that floatstone. And how many copies of floatstone is Noah playing? He now? does run two copies. Okay, so, you know, full bench, he is going to be drawing nine cards here. Mm -hmm. um, that is not an insignificant amount. Uh, so, you know, um, has a good shot at it. I like that he's still, um, <laughs> it, it looks like he's planning to use the other Garboder for uh, Ditto um, as well. So that's going to be two Trash Lunches he can use for this matchup right now. Um, I don't see the Floatstone, but I do see a Dowsing Machine. I'm trying to see what else he has in hand right now. Uh, there's a Zorg GX, and there's Floatstone. So Floatstone, Zorg GX, both there. Um, as well as the Garbotoxin Garbodor. Interesting that uh, does Noah just a pass. Okay with getting this Wombuffet knocked out potentially by Simon, um, seeing like, okay, you'll go ahead on prizes. All your counter energies and things like mm -hmm. that are uh, to the wind. Yep, and exactly. He's just going to make that same point right there. He's going to let him take this knockout here and then battle back from there. But the more that Simon can just get energy off the board and not feel incredibly pressured, um, the better off he will be, I think, uh, in the late game because he's ma he's uh, conserving those counter energy. Mm -hmm. And eventually Noah's going to just start rolling knockouts faster than uh, Simon can. Well, as long as like Noah can attack these th as much as he can with the 90x attackers to take KOs here. So I venture to say after this Oreo or Quirk is KO'd here, this Trash Lance Garbodor is going to take this next KO. Um, and kind of rinse and repeat there. Articuno's prize, wow. Um, and he's able to keep that trend going right now. He can withstand to the end game there and let Zork do the last couple pieces of knockout. Um, but we'll see what, how it kind of all, all unfolds right here. Um, I like Simon looking to the future here. Um, that one damage counter on the Tapu Lele GX might be incredibly relevant because of uh, the white Kyurem, which we mm -hmm. haven't seen come into effect yet, but it is the only Pokemon that is able to come in and hit for 160 damage. 160. And that's, uh, what's 160 plus uh, 10? It's 170, it's and that's a knockout. Tapu Lele, that's what that is. But that's a knockout. So Supernatural Dance going to take a knockout on the Wobbuffet. Simon goes up in prizes. Um, and Noah is on. Red card There's coming red down card early. We know uh, he has the Dowsing Machine in hand. So if Dowsing Machine wants to come down, this might be the opportunity to, to do it, get it back, mm -hmm. and, and get, get it back for next turn. I think he's, he's uh, trying to toy with the idea of evolving to the Zorg GX and taking a KO. Uh, but he does see that watch and learn pseudo widow right there. So he's hoping he can just pull off the whole scenario of not being able to get return KO'd by it. So he's, he's, he's trying to read his poker face right now. So good news for Noah is if he does elect to go Zorark GX, um, since Simon is ahead in prizes, uh, Noah will drop down to five, and mm -hmm. then all the counter trickery that Simon leans on to do those big explosive mm -hmm. watch and learns uh, won't quite be into effect. However, we see uh, Trash Lunch Garbodor come in, Skyfield bumping the Dimension Valley. Ultra Ball coming down. Um, might find ourselves um, another Trash Lunch Garbodor, maybe realizing that st stopping abilities this time around, not really the route to victory. 
Interesting enough, he dis he discarded the flow stone here, so I wonder if he already has the psychic in hand. Um, curious what exactly is going to Okay, he's going for the Guzma. That's why he was able to do that there. So what? He's probably going to go right after that Watch and Learn Pseudo Wudo. Lots of ways for Simon to buy back uh, that Watch and Learn Pseudo Wudo. However, Simon does want to kind of want to get down on prizes right now mm -hmm. uh, before uh, making a move, if you will. He also has one of his rescue stretchers into prizes as well. So um, currently does not have access to getting that Pseudo Wudo back unless he has it in hand. But that red card of four could provide crucial here. I would be very unfortunate if he has to evolve that Ditto into the Garbotoxin. It's essentially wasting that one psychic attachment that he's already done now. Reducey to ride is beating to take out that watch and learn pseudo wudo. Simon promoting the Mew uh, into the active spot. Yeah, it's an easy promote for your retreat. Can get you it's back easy to pivot Pokemon. Exactly. Well said. Taking a quick look here, another reason why that 10 damage on the Tapu Lele is good. Um, Giratina's attack does hit for 130. That's Shadow Impact. So with the Choice Band that we know Simon plays, also uh, 160. That's, that's another route to knock out there. Order pad. Let's see if he's going to be two for two this game. Top eight's the time to be. Oh yep. my gosh. Too easy. Too easy for Simon. Take a look here. Going through, thumbing through, taking a good look at all the contents of the deck. Uh, again, I feel like uh, Simon very used to playing past this turn, not just in the moment, but a few turns down the road. We see that with the dis distortion door damage placement. Um, and the cards he selects when. Um, oftentimes, he's making moves that seem subtle and maybe innocuous, mm -hmm. uh, but then you find out three turns later is what unlocks these massive comeback plays mm -hmm. uh, through Articuno's Tri-Edge um, and the other rallying back type of attacks that he has across all his Pokemon. Okay, here, Computer Surge, drop in with a Cabalion and Mew. Cabalion and Mew. Revenge Blast was, uh, was threatening. Mm-hmm. Uh, uh, he actually had the, the, the win two ways there. He did. He uh, did take one KO with Russ, it. Again, Russ, if you remember that. And he used it last matchup against uh, Zach there uh, before he took that final KO uh, with Articuno, uh, being able to take out one of the Hitmonchans there. Um, junk Hunt here to start, and here it is, starting that one initial strategy to be start pulling back in resources and forcing Noah to either, you know, take that knockout, put him ahead of prizes, or um, let, let Simon get his setup. Simon, uh, you know, a junk hunt here, you can easily just grab computer search order pad. And again, as we mentioned, if you knock out Sableye, cool, not a main attacker. If you mm -hmm. knock out something else, all right, I still have Sableye, I can junk hunt some more, but I mm -hmm. still have those resources that I bought back. So tons of options here. Supporter for turn, Sycamore going to get him seven. Was that clean? Oh, the clean no-hand Sycamore there. Verse Seeker, no hand Sycamore. Energy already down for the turn. Interested to see the route Simon uh, is going to take. It seems like he's kind of priced himself into that Sableye for this mm -hmm. turn, though. Yeah, and I think and I think we're for sure going to yeah, see that Junk Hunt, and I think he's going to be the exact card as you mentioned there. Um, I'll venture to say instead of Order Pad, he may grab a Verse Seeker, mm -hmm. um, but definitely the Computer Search 100%. Compu yeah, I think Computer Search and Versus Seeker uh, is a great call because, as we know, he does have a teammate's prize. However, mm -hmm. first turn, he sycamored away mm -hmm. his other copy of teammates. So, Noah, surely going to take a knockout here. Um, or, yeah, maybe not. Maybe he'll play the long con for us. Instead of Computer Search, he grabs the Counter Catcher, which I like that also. Um, yeah, I think he's venturing to say to the Sable that's going to be KO'd here soon. And want to be eyeing down maybe that. Trashlands Garbodor, or if the Zorak goes to the bench, is Pops possibly what he's predicting for? So an or go after that Lele. Yeah, an interesting uh, thought experiment here is uh, does Noe truly want to attack? He just Dowsy Machine for the red card, number two. Okay. So the exact strategy we were mentioning at the start of this game. Um, Simon, a little insulated from that because uh, Noah has yet to um, put down. Garbotoxin Garbodor, it is in his hand, as we know. It will make that attachment to the Ditto Prism a little awkward. Um, but for now, stands. Uh, mm -hmm. And if he wants to shut off a Rangaroo, which is a, a great card for Simon, uh, he can do that, uh, which might just completely shut him out of this game. I believe uh, Simon was able to hit the what's, what's like Sycamore and an Order Pad there. So he is, he, is, he is very fine with what just happened right there. Um, Noah here, it's just a tough spot to be in right now. I really wish there was a way for him to get the Zork out of the active spot and attack with Garboder. Um, and it looks like he might be, 
God, what's he exactly eyeing in here? I see Garbodor, I see DCE. What's the what's the attack on Acid Sprays and let you discard an energy? So he might be looking to discard an energy on that Mew on the bench. Um, he traded away to DC just now. He traded it away, huh? Interesting. Finds a Floatstone. Man, this is just okay. tough options here. I was just taking a look at what uh, the Garbotoxin Garbodor that Noah has, what the attack is on its offensive bomb. Is he running uh, – I was, I was thinking of Trash and Lance's second attack here, but, yeah, offensive bomb is a uh, – go ahead. And what, what brought me to that is just he was looking to uh, – it almost looked like he was going to attach that double okay. colors to there. So I was just curious if maybe Noah's like, all right, this is a, this is a slow way to build up another single prize attacker. Yeah. Uh, Hey. Which it is. Um, I mean, I, uh, it's funny. It's funny story there is that when I played a uh, uh, Garb does that same as that Garbodor at the national championship a few seasons ago. Um, I need a 90x attacker to take out a Reggie Ice, and I had to turbo bolt to a uh, Garbodor to do some offensive bombing. There you uh, go. And I offensively lost. So uh, <laughs> on that note, we do see a KO Guzma. Guzma play uh, bringing up the the Garbotox that's lying on his feet with that floatstone. Pulling back to the bench, Zorark taking the knockout on Victini um, with that V beatdown attack. <laughs> Lots of cards in Simon's hand here. Order pad, step number one. All right. I mean, he was due. He's due for one. He was due to hey, miss. If he had a three for three there, that would have been quite ridiculous. Abilities are off, worth noting, um, which means Mew, not going to copy attacks. Um, and Oranguru not going to instruct. He's trying. He's probably deciphering what he wants the teammates here for. Um, he, I would venture to say. I mean, honestly, he could probably just pull off the full combo here. Pseudo Wudo, um, yeah. counter energy. Yeah, uh, might even do rescue stretcher counter yeah. energy. Um, Pseudo Wudo coming right to the top. Yeah, and if it's in the deck, he might as well reserve that rescue stretcher. I uh, it looks like he's going through both right now. We see Counter Energy, Pseudo Wudo, and the Rest Stretcher all at the top right there. So I think he's just Counter Energy which must one be in might hand. be the best. Counter Energy must be in hand. Um, if if these are the selections uh, STL is making here. If he's even teasing an idea, yeah, it has to already have one in hand to not go after it. Looks like he went for Rescue Stretcher, Counter Energy. Interesting. Rescue Stretcher, Counter Energy. I guess can like the guarantee the Pseudo Wudo for later on. But I figure it's the same pseudo thing as far <laughs> pseudo thing as the rescue stretcher. So that's what we were discussing yesterday a little bit. If you pull the watch and learn out of there, unless he's thinking about using it and then setting up his following uh, a junk hunt, mm -hmm. which is what we saw him do yesterday in round mm -hmm. seven. Um, if that's your your plan, your follow up, which Simon, as we know, does play mm -hmm. one turn ahead, has to with this deck. Um, if that's the play you're going for, then. Sableye is going to be the follow-up attacker. Probably going to junk hunt back a rescue stretcher. Okay, okay, and, and I got maybe you. Maybe a versus secret. I got you. Counter Man. energy getting slapped down, uh, and we are going to riotously beat this uh, Zorark GX, and it's going to go to viciously. Defend. Just a big tree stomp right there across the face of Zorark to the discard pile for two prizes here. Uh, I would say probably teammates and let's guess the counter catcher. Maybe that's another reason why you give stretcher, right? Because you have the selection to grab the stretcher off your prizes here. You get two. Mm -hmm. um, he does have a sycamore in hand as well. Right. Grabbing that and saying, I don't, I don't need the uh, Articuno boy just yet. Not yet, not yet. And there's nothing really on the bench right now that could be worth to use those style points for. Um, but we shall see. Juniper about to happen here, dropping a zero to the bench right now. I think uh, with Noah having um, Tapu Lele with one damage counter on it, there's other routes to that those last two prizes. Yep. Um, and again, as we mentioned, through White uh, Kyurum. Yeah. Uh, attack. I actually think Noah is in a decent spot right now if you can actually get all the cards. Um, here, uh, cards here. So Garboder is going to be a little bit harder to knock out uh, because of that 120 HP here. I don't really see anything initially outside of Giratina. However, if Garbodor takes his knockout right here, it puts uh, the prize race even. So counter energy is out of effect. So, and that's, I think, what Simon was actually uh, playing to, right? Yep. Um, interesting, interesting. Okay. I'm just going to hit for uh, 60? 60, right? Okay. Counter energy that only counts as one mm -hmm. colorless now because Simon is now ahead in the prize trade. Things that are dangerous with this, though. Um, 
we know Simon just plucked the teammates of the prizes, but he also has a sycamore and a rescue stretcher. Um, Simon does have ways to attack outside of just using counter energy. Yep. Are we going to get to that point? Three prisms already down. He plays four prism, two rainbow. Mm -hmm. So he's going to have to hard way these, uh, these Pokemon up to the ability to attack. Uh, let's see here. So he has what? There's the rainbow there. So he might just do another watch and learn energy drive right back. That would hit him for 80. Yeah. Another thing to kind of point out here and then to, to counteract what I was saying before is that Mew can also, uh, here, even though they're behind, can use Trash Lance right back. Oh, that has to be basic Pokemon. Mew's the only fa basic Pokemon, so can't use Trash Lance. Correct. And it's also Garbage Toxin out, so, um, Memories of Dawn is not going to be able to do anything at all. So, currently... I think Noah could actually do something here. He needs to find that psychic energy and, or even another DCE and get that foul play um, Zorak out. Noah taking a quick look uh, after the the uh, energy drive right back at that Tapu Lele. Um, to note, if Noah wants it, psychic energy, he can use Tapu Cure. Mm -hmm. um, it won't heal the Tapu Lele that's damaged <laughs> in the active, but... You can kill that one with the head that distortion door, so sure. Um. <laughs> Getting uh, another trubbish. trubbish onto the bench, which, as we mentioned, going to be important to stream those single prize attackers. I think that they evolved to that Zorak GX right now. Not going to be able to even get trade out of it right now because he already has Garbotoxin in play, so. Colrus for a big amount. Uh, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11? 1,000. 11,000, yeah. 11,000 cards coming. Noah's got to like the, the uh, card advantage she's getting off that Colrus for sure. Three. Keep drawing them, kid. <laughs> yeah, almost there. <laughs> Hypnotoxic laser? Uh, How much is at 70? But I think it has 100 HP. It has 100 HP, yeah. right, yep. So, again, w something, it was a situation that came up yesterday that yep. uh, Noah could actually take a knockout with a hypnotoxic laser without promoting anything uh, bizarre, if mm -hmm. you will. Well, he's often to use it. Ooh, and it's going night-night. Poisoned. All right. It's at 7, 8. So it'll go up to 8 going into Simon's turn. Hard retreat into Trubbish. We're going to garbage collect here. Yep, laser going right back on top of the deck. Okay, okay. I could dig this. Let's Try. see if he wakes up. This could be a turnaround turn off, so if he stays asleep. And he does. He's, he's fast hard, asleep. He's going to have the hard retreat out of there to be able to get some production out of another Pokemon. Fast asleep is that pseudo Wudo in the active. Simon off the top. Going to have to adjust his game plan hasn't really been put in this situation and maybe uh noah got with his uh got with his friends and was like okay wh what's my approach here how do i handle this here uh, how, how do i get uh how do i keep this guy off of his game plan long enough for me to to steal a win and i think there's a route here because you know simon really you know uh goes after his attacks here based off counter reactions there so being behind on prizes and he only has one guzma here so taking this forefront here and attacking with like the trashness garboder here hopefully soon and then I wish that Zork was almost evolved into the nasty plot here. Um, Watch and learn pseudo Wudo 90, roadblock pseudo Wudo 100. 100. Okay. So very well done by Noah. That is a knockout going back into his turn, which is um, crucial. Because oh, this now is big. Oh, sorry. Uh, I was just going to say Simon's going to have to promote here. It's something that he ostensibly maybe doesn't want to get rid of, but mm -hmm. kind of has to now. Uh, while at the same time trying to find out, well, is he, is Noah actually going to attack? We know uh, hi uh, Hypnotoxic Laser went back on top. Gonna play Another one. Not asleep. Poison for sure. Uh, and oh, this is interesting. Okay. Oh, this is dope, actually. Okay, so all he's doing right now, because he controls the uh, right now the title prizes, so there's no counter-reaction on Simon's side for counter-energy, he just sits there and keeps garbage collecting lasers and constantly poisons to act the Pokemon for KOs. That's a way to do it. That's a way to do it. And if your Pokemon is knocked out between turns, you don't get access to teammates. You don't get access to teammates. All right. No I like that. Interesting strategy. Noah's finding a way to do it. 
All right. It, it'd be spicy if you had like the one of Burbank City and it's to, to expedite the process. <laughs> <laughs> that is to note, eventually something will get KO'd and something uh, and those counter energies will be unlocked. Mm -hmm. A little bit of an action from Noah, both going to three. Thinking my uh, my board is far better positioned than yours. I'm comfortable going to three. Are you? That's I wonder if um, that other second energy that Noah plays is prize. It may be. It may be. We haven't seen it at all yet, and that deck is running pretty thin right now. So maybe even this like hypnotic laser strategy may not be the best given the size of this deck. Like that cut was really thin. Oh, there's psychic right there off cue, on cue. So has has the ability to trash lanch. Uh, you're just gonna garbage collect. You're gonna put a laser back on top, and over to Simon. Damage counter going down on Mr. Mime. Rescue stretcher off the top. Rally back Shaman. I think I saw a um, prism energy mm -hmm. in there. Yeah, Simon needs to figure out a way to get this. Uh, I, I said I don't. I think he should junk hunt right now if he has the option to. Uh, to bring back those stretchers there and get set up for when this Zorak eventually comes up. I'm assuming that's what Noah's ultimate plan is. Uh, but right now, he has no alternative attackers for, or in no way to respond to this trash lance once it eventually comes up. Simon's only supporter in hand, I believe, is a teammate's as well. And as we mentioned, getting knocked out due to poison in between turns. <laughs> is not get Noah's doing his own pseudo like junk hunt strategy here, just starting putting trainer cards on top of his deck <laughs> in yep. his own way right now, slowly but surely. Doesn't have to use a laser. Doesn't have to use. Uh, doesn't have to use the laser this turn. Obviously, Mr. Mime's still in the active, still poison. Um, that's what Noah cares about. Yep. And uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and um, is it garbage collect? I think it's garbage collect. I'm gonna garbage collect back on top of the deck. Sounds like it should be garbage collect. I feel like it was a versus seeker. Garbage collection. It's pretty interesting that it's any card um, for Noah, giving him any sort oh, of. Oh uh, wow. Any sort of movements he wants there it doesn't necessarily just have to be a trainer or an mm -hmm. item. It'd be any um, card, unlike junk hunt. That's probably why the power of the difference is there is that any card. So instead of putting it directly in your hand, it's like okay, no, let's just put it on top of the deck because it's any card. So a little bit of a power balance there. <laughs> All right, white Kyurum coming down might be eyeing up one of those uh, damaged Tapu Lilies on the bench mm -hmm. again. Doesn't need to have any conditions of what your opponents did the last turn to be able to deal that heavy damage uh, once that prism energy is on it. 100% there. Um, he might be eyeing that. You know, you're saying there, he might be eyeing that Goose one play right now, but currently he is not into any. We are being told to settle down for a moment. Uh, we'll talk about the play by play psychic energy going down on that Trash Lanch Garbodor. All good to go. Just making sure that when we're discussing things, I just want to confirm with uh, the players at the table that they are not hearing us and we're not uh, divulging any information. Guzba pulling up the rally back Shaman. Yeah, I think he was going through at that point there and figuring out which one he wanted to Guzma Mikhail with his trash lance. So now it is to note Noah is ahead on prizes. prizes. Yep. So we know Simon has rescue stretcher, we know he has counter energy, and now teammates in the hand is live. How do you leverage this to put Noah in a funky situation? Uh, you 100% go straight up to the Zorark or the Lele right now. And more than likely, the Zorark, because that's a guaranteed knockout on anything on your side of the field. Um, so you probably pull off. You said he already has the counter energy in hand. Um, with teammates there, get that counter gain and rescue stretcher to pull back that pseudo -wudo. Let's go ahead and go out to that Zorark there. Put you at that one prize point there. And at that point there, only trash lists can KO you. So you can get build back up and get that last KO. Teammates coming down as predicted. Even or Corio actually might be able to play come into play here because depending on any Pokemon in this card pile, he could just go after that Lele on bench. So I don't know what the makeup of Simon's or hand the is. Trubbish. Trubbish is only sixty HP. Trubbish is only sixty HP. I think his route to victory though is going to be that heavily damaged Tapu Lele on the bench. Um, don't have to rely on Tri Edge shenanigans. I'm not sure Simon goes to two prizes, uh, to one prize this turn. Mm-hmm. Um, I'd if I'm Simon, I think I'm playing for the following turn to take the two prize knockout on Tapu Lele, hoping uh, that Noah doesn't uh, see the writing on the wall and end me. Because as we know, um, Noah should have a versus seeker in hand because he mm -hmm. did use garbage collection the previous turn. Um, so Simon got to take all these things into consideration how he's going to take these last three prizes. 
He's definitely going to need a big counter energy, potentially counter energy, counter gain turn. Mm -hmm. Did you happen to catch what two cards he grabbed? Um, I did not. I did not. I know he has Rescue Stretcher in hand, so I don't think he probably fished one of those out. Um, what were they? What were they? He has a Versus Seeker as well, which is just kind of insane. This match is slow burns. Simon with so many options. Noah uh, taking out a page out of that Russell Lepar interview from yesterday, and that is slow it down, pick your spots, mm -hmm. and make sure when you hit it's just hard and violent and that uh, Simon can't recover from it. it. Looks like he might be opting to play his, his, own, D <laughs> his own D Valley down here. Curious what else he bumps besides the Mr. Mime off his board. Oh, the Giratina. Easy money. Um, yeah, that opens up another distortion door if that d valley ever gets bumped um that's actually crucial i mean the more you think about it how many pokemon are in exactly Noah's discard? because i think distortion door plus um supernatural dance there on that trebuchet on, ban on bench stl counting you gotta you gotta confirm one two three, three four, four five six seven eight nine, nine ten, ten. 10. Holy smokes. That trebuchet is going down. Actually, even the Lele if you want to also, but I think to your point, you're saying hold off. Or tra or a Garbotox and Garbodor? Like you could go after the Garbotox and Garbodor, but like, that's also hurting Noah. So I feel like you just leave the ability there. That's a great point. I mean, you've got the Lele now without having to do any counter gains. You've got you, – you don't have the Trash Lance Garbodor. Oh, he is going after it. <laughs> just straight knockout. Counter catcher. Timing down to two and – Unfortunately, Noah has to end here. I, I believe Noah has to end. He has to, but I don't see any way to do it. There is no way he could do it, but he has abilities now. He can trade, hopefully get there. See a Chorus, uh, Pokemon Communication, the Field Blower in there somewhere. Um, and Simon, yet again, jockeying for position on the inside lane on the last stretch of the race and finding himself a way to put himself in a position to win. This is fantastic. And I think Noah just completely forgot about uh, the Oracorio. He, he and Simon has Rescue Stretcher too, so if S Noah doesn't bump the stadium, he yep. can Rescue Stretcher retreat and take that Lele. The big thing, I think the big turn there was that he, uh, Oracorio was on the bench whenever Noah decided his uh, Guzma option. When he went after the Shaman, that could have been the Oracorio right there. Yep, absolutely. It, it could have been uh, the V uh, the V beatdown yep. when he went in after the Victini. It could have mm -hmm. been the Oracorio. And Simon just innocuously letting that Oracorio just, just – it's just bench pressing in the background. I mean, Oracorio is a dancing Pokemon, so he's on the bench, just like waving his hands around, dancing, just waiting for his chance to supernaturally take out this whole deck right now. All right, Pokemon communication, uh, throwing Azorua back in there. There's a Skyfield left, but now energy. En Oracorio can eat a counter energy to use its attack. Yep. So <laughs> Simon put himself, worked himself in a great position here. Hypnotoxic laser gonna be crucial. Maybe just poison. If it's just poison, no sleep, then I think Simon's got this. I think Simon does have this here, but um, we got to see the end here. Got to see. Was there an end in the in the deck when he, he did a search? There's first seeker. seeker. Okay. So it's probably gonna bench sky, Skyfield bump versus Seeker. Get the end. P rescue stretcher. 100 percent three Pokemon back into the deck. Oh uh, yeah, yeah. You have to. And we just been notified now that whoa, Jimmy Pindarva is pulling off the win against Trevenant, uh, moving on to top four, and he will be facing Will Jenkins, another Trevenant matchup to combat with. Okay, okay, so a lot of good things here for Noah, and he found the super rod, so we can put an energy and a oh, couple pokes back, plus the the stretcher. So a ton of Pokemon going back into the uh, back into the deck. Really depowering that supernatural dance, um, and the uh, Skyfield bumping the second Dimension Valley. So now we are back to having to do and an N. Okay, so Noah got it all. Mm -hmm. He did it all. Uh, Simon, that knockout on that Garbotoxin really unlocked the ability to trade. I, I, I do not think. I, I still. I still believe that that should have been a, a different knockout there. Probably just a Trebuchet that had the DC on it before it evolved to a new Garbo, a Garbotoxin. Because mm -hmm. now what could happen here is off this end, No could just potentially hit another tool and just relock back up, and now Simon would be down to two prizes, two two draw cards. Sorry. 
So he used the rescue stretcher to put garbotoxin back in his hand, reactivate garbotoxin. Mm-hmm. Uh, there's no tool on it yet. Now there to is the Klefki. To the Klefki. Man. Okay. All well, right. Simon needs quite a bit of action. Free retreater up in the active. If, if anyone can do it, it's been him all weekend. Uh, we do know Simon did pluck the countercatcher out of his prizes mm-hmm. and um, junk hunted that one turn, mm-hmm. got another countercatcher. Um which surprised us at the time, but maybe it's exactly for moments like this mm-hmm. where the deck is incredibly thin. You you know you're going to get end late game. You need a couple pieces of the puzzle, and counter catcher is going to play a role in that. Uh, he, I saw prism energy. Prism energy, that choice ban. I can't see the other card. Sycamore? Really? Really? <laughs> okay, so he needs to find – he needs to find uh, – I well, think he's trash a s- was just used, right? Yeah, he's, I think he's deciding if he actually wants to well, attach his prism energy here, but it, it can't go to anything effective. He has to hit a counter energy. Yep, he has to hit counter energy counter catcher to win this. Is he thinking game. about attaching? What's he going to attack with? There's Garbotoxin out. Does he? Okay, choice spin. Oh, this is interesting. Okay, Simon, just keep in mind that the Klefki is on that Garbodor. Oh, no, this could be bad. Okay, he's Sycamore. He's Sycamore. That's fine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Needs counter energy and counter catcher. Yep. Counter energy, counter catcher is what he's playing to. Counter energy? Did Is the catcher in there? I see counter energy. Order pad. Order pad. Order pad. Okay. Order pad heads. Is this what it comes down to? Another the flip. Ma- Another Golly. flip. He rolled his sleeves up. You know what's coming. Golly. He gave Oh, man. Look at this shaking the hands. I need this dice, fl- dice flip. Order pad. Oh, oh, he didn't get it. The dice failed him in the top uh, eight. How, what does he do from here? Ah, oh my gosh. Trash Lynch there for the last prize. He has no way to KO it right now. I mean, he can KO with Trash Lynch using the pseudo Wudo on it, but then Zork comes up for the game. He needs to take out a two-prizer right now. Okay, what uh, Simon needs to do is he needs to qu- take a quick double check on how many Pokemon are in Noah's discard. Because if Noah stretched back oh. and only put two back, he might – he might have nine Pokemon still in the discard, which oh. would which would be a knockout because you're right, of any right. damage on tap. He was a, he was a, he was a ten. I, he shuffled back the two off Super Raw, put the one back ahead, and put him on seven. Okay, so I thought I f- he's double checking. I thought it was at eleven. One. One. Dude, just Dude, count, damn it. Yeah. One. Two, two, three, four, five, six, six seven, eight. Eight. Oh, eight. Noah played it one just right. Short. Just short. One just short. short. Oh, man. One short. Wait. Skyfield. Distortion door. In Oracorio. <gasps> oh, he can't distortion door. Garbador. Oh. Oh, he got it all. That, oh. that, end, that end to two oh. and finding Klefki was absolutely insane. Uh, if he had a field blower, I'd be oh. – That order pad was everything. That oh order my pad gosh. Was everything. That this was, was it. Incredibly close. Incredibly close. Does he have a field blower? What's he? What's he? Op- what's he planning here? Confusion. Confusion. Ray. Confuse Ray. All right, we unlock. We solve the mystery. If if this hits, it's confused. It's confused. Does he have a Guzma? Does does uh, does Noah have a Guzma? I have no idea. Prop eggs in hand. Bridge. Oh, because he ended himself low too. So he can't trade or anything right so now. So he has to. He can't trade right now. He can't trade. trade. Oh, no. No, 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 no. Yes. No, Klefki fell off. Where did Klefki go? It falls off. Oh, it falls off that one turn. Okay. Oh, man. Simon finding a – okay. Hard retreat. Good there game. it is. All right. Ooh, Noah played that expertly. That was so good. That was man. so good. So, both Ooh. players – both players riding on variants that whole time. Noah playing it great. With the garbage collection on the hypnotoxic mm-hmm. lasers to buy a little bit of time. Great strategy. Um, Simon locking it down with supernatural dance and adding a couple angles to it. Um, Noah recognizing that, ending to reaction. two and finding the Klefki, which is the, that was the whole game there. Lots of reaction there. That, that Klefki was super clutch there. And the biggest thing was that Noah knew how much damage that needed to be in this discard pot for him to not be affected the next turn. And being one short, it's almost as if like. What if he just did a distortion door a little bit a few t- again a few turns earlier? You know, it's just kind of those little things that kind of come back. But yeah. you just never, you just, it's hard to predict those kind of things when you just don't know. Yeah, and Simon's been pretty good about it all weekend. 
Yeah, I don't know if there was a window there where Simon could have distortion doored again based on when the valleys were out, garbotoxin was yep. live, things of that nature. Uh, but definitely worth considering because one damage counter off on that yep. Tapu Lele, but that energy drive made a difference. Yep. Like so many things went into consideration there, and it l legit came down to for Simon uh, another coin flip. Yep, another yep. coin flip. These guys are, are ripping off their opening hands. If I'm Noah, rinse and repeat the strategy I just used. Yep. If I'm Simon, I'm playing like I got a rocket up the butt, and I'm trying to play as fast as humanly possible because his deck is not meant to just blaze through a game. Here we go, Zeru start and Amuse start for both player for the players here, and we are underway going into Simon's turn. Town map right out the gate. Let's see what's there. There's a field blower. That's gonna be crucial. Um, not, prize is not too bad. Yeah. Um, I think I think Simon's gonna find his way to a knockout before um, Garbotoxin completely ranches the oh, game. He's, he's 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 running at mock speed right now. Double watch and learn, Prism Energy, one attachment away from taking knockouts here, and. Yeah, I don't think he's going to be playing around too much this game right now. He knows that the clock has been. That was a long game one. That was a long game one, but that's that's how Simon built his deck to play, mm -hmm. is to win those long game ones, you know, kind of uh, snatch victory from the jaws of defeat and, and move on. And unfortunately in that case, you know, Noah high rolled into that Klefki, uh, and Simon did the coin flip and uh, and fell just shy. So And, and uh, on this turn one, each player getting six cards. Uh, man, I'm glued to my seat right now. This is, this is intense right now. Um, rematch going well for Noah so far. Um, definitely a lot closer than the previous match, too. So both players were able to work both strategies effectively, too. It wasn't like it was just a give me game. Maybe the fact that these players have played against each other in the Swiss rounds is hampering Simon's uh, ability to leverage that surprise factor. I 100%. mean, even if when you talk about uh, counter decks, like how ready or like how actual mentally prepared are you to face against it? And uh, Noah making little to no missteps in that game one, able to take the big W. We do see uh, we just had attached a pass after that end. We're attached before the end and just a pass over to Noah's turn right now. Let's see how he gets going here. I see. Okay, just the Lele was really it, so he probably is just going to go straight up for a draw support here. Uh, let's see here. More than likely another end himself. Yeah, conserve some of those resources. He doesn't have any other draw cards. I got to understand if he has some Zork GX in his hand, he could go for the Bridget play, but it was a bunch of energy. The, the nasty plot or the foul play. Uh, foul play Zork. Foul play Zork there and not much else. And a propagate egg. So, uh, and a choice man. Uh, couldn't tell what he just grabbed. Well, he just put down a Pokemon, but I think he's just doing a prize check potentially, I guess. Yeah, he's doing a prize check. Doesn't have that cheat code of a card uh, town map to mm -hmm. to easy street it. However, Judge on the ones and twos is going to make sure that Noah doesn't spend too much time ticking around here. Uh, you do get that cursory first search, kind of an yeah. unwritten rule. I don't. Uh, but after that, you know. Yeah, I don't recall him. I, I don't off. recall the, the the deep search here in game one um, here, but I'm sure it's, it's definitely a little bit more important here in game two for you know it make sure that he has all the right pieces. Yep. Um, you know, I think if Noah fires through one more time, I think we gotta we gotta say something here. So hopefully he grabs a supporter this time through, and we can uh, keep this game progressing. Simon, though, you know, I mean, ate up some of the clock himself at the end of the other game. You mm -hmm. know, counting, counting, going back. You know, all that stuff did go to the confuse ray play, um, and an N. Yeah, definitely a lot of searching there, and he ends up uh, opting to grab the supporter N. As well, uh, just old reliable supporter there to shuffle both hands to the deck and draw uh, equal to your prizes. Yeah, his hand was flat. There's no real surprise here. Um, doing the prize search. Sure. Uh, like I mentioned, Judge going to be on the ones and twos, watching for that uh, going forward. I can assure you of that. So, Simon, giving a good shuffle. Both players present the decks. Let's keep this thing rocking and rolling. This could be a little rough here. If Noah doesn't get any additional cards right now, um, I think you know Simon can just start uh, attacking away right now. Does he have any initial like like hard hitting attacks you can go from the bat that could take out a Zerua? Uh, big teeny. He can get into a big teeny, but he needs attached two energies there. Um, well, well, Prism Dimension Valley, Valley so. big teeny uh, could could definitely do some work for him. Yeah. Um, 
and maybe that's maybe that's what you have to play to here. Mm-hmm. Especially since he's only, uh, he might get another zero out. But if that's it, I'm probably going straight for that play. Ditto Prism coming down. Noah with the shuffle. <laughs> Noah with the shuffle presents. And we're back at it. All right, let's see what else he does here right now. I, I don't can't see just hitting baiting the laser right now, which Oh, just ram. Okay, so I mean So there's a nest ball. Um I do see a counter catcher. Uh another Mew. This All order right. pad. I think this order pad's gonna be another important one. He got it. He got it. We see him picking up the deck and not adjusting the dice. Um so maybe the route here is uh Victini, Dimension Valley. Uh, v beat down. He's, he's either first searching directly for the valley here at a computer search. Beat me to it. And, <laughs> and let's see here. What's that? Uh, counter catcher he's going to get rid of in a rescue stretcher. That's rescue stretcher number two. So he needs to hope he does for sure get the Sableye. That's probably going to be the first prize he grabs is that Sableye. Has, uh, has the rainbow energy in hand. So um, I think computer search is going to grab Dimension Valley. Nest Ball in hand is going to grab a Victini teeny. if it's in there. Yep, Nest Ball. And um, we're going to see a V beat down. Beat down. Now, with resistance, he does have enough in play. So I want to make sure that there he needed at least uh, four Pokemon out there to KO this Aruba with the uh, resistance there. And I wonder if Noah's in his head curious if he needed to uh, play that laser there or not. There we go. Gets another Mew down. Uh, so th that'll cover the the resistance rainbow energy. Okay, okay. I like that Tachi to the okay new one there. Sycamore, nice. That's a good that's a good last card to have in hand. Uh, Simon's found it often. So drawing seven, take a quick look and then I retreat and I hit in. Um, if you don't have anything big you actually need right now, mm -hmm. I, I I'm favoring. Uh, Pa the pacing that I'm playing at versus uh, the minutia of perfect plays and perfect, uh, yep. perfect you know, uh, deck percentages yes, spinning yes. and things like that. There it is, Graf Sycamore, okay. Important that he did check his hand uh, sufficiently before grabbing a, a prize, obviously, mm -hmm. because he does have access to town map, wants to make sure he's selecting the correct card. All right here, Noah, not the, f the best start right now. Opsis Field Blower to get rid of the – they're all oh, Colrus for – Five. five. Colorus for five. This is the big one here um, uh, at this point because right now, if Noah doesn't get enough on the bench right now, Simon can start really applying this pressure right now. So interesting that I don't know. Obviously, we didn't get the true contents of Simon's hand, but might have been worth grabbing the Guzma there. Mm hmm. Just so you can uh, get after that Ditto or another Zorua or, a, or, or, that or a, um, Trubbish going to the bench. Um, and just a pass. Oh, man. Counter Nothing gain off the top. On. Simon needs to make a huge move right now. Let's see how he gets there. Does he have a Guzma already in hand, maybe? Perhaps already has no, a Guzma No, he only has one Guzma in the list. He certainly needs uh, another energy. He only has one Guzma in the list. So he oh, correct. Uh, great call there, Jeff. I missed that on the on the deck list here. Um with a full grip, he didn't have anything else, you know? Like, mm -hmm. it's uh, it's tough for me to, without seeing exactly everything he's got, why he wouldn't uh, grab mm -hmm. uh, the Guzma. But Simon's in top eight, and we're in the booth, so the kid kid knows something we don't. Well, uh, with the DCE now, uh, that knockout is open for that Tapu Lele with energy drive. Mm -hmm. Can't pull that play off there. We're going to see a V blast for 120. Or V beat down. V beat down. Klefki. Even playing a slave, having a bench to Klefki. We have to go Colrus again. He Skyfield. wants field. Yeah, he wanted that extra card there to draw one extra piece for this Colrus number two. And let's see if he can get going off of this one here. 26 minutes left on the clock. Noah, very anemic right now. Not getting much going on. Uh, Simon trying to really apply some pressure with these V beatdowns. Nothing so far. Red card, Red card. Teammates. Nothing in the form of Zorark. Trubbish down on the bench. Red card uh, may be coming down. However, Noah just attached, or excuse me, Simon just attached an energy last turn and didn't play anything else. However, no Noah aware that 
Sycamore is in there somewhere. So his hand isn't just completely flat. Noah does have a teammate's in hand now, so when this tabulated goes down, he can grab any two cards out of his deck the following turn. All right. Red card, going to give him four. Again, uh, Instructor Rangaroo is live, though. No, mm -hmm. uh, no gar Garbotoxin this time around. So uh, I would be shocked if uh, Simon wasn't able to play some cards down and be able to instruct, uh, see a couple more. All right, just a pass from Noah right now. So we know we're, we're going to see the KO here on this Tapu Lele here. Um, the only thing that kind of struggles here, it puts Simon three prizes ahead in this game. So he's kind of going to be completely reliant on this uh, V beatdown strategy. As that's the only card really that's not reactionary to something happening on Noah's side, which Watch and Learn needs an attack. Um, you're going to need counter energy to get to those three energy cost attacks. So um, V beatdown is going to be the route currently. Uh, Mr. Mime, Resource Management, Orangaroo, and Distortion Door Giratina all going to the discard pile off of that Battle Compressor. Uh, Simon perhaps not ready to use any of those Pokemon just yet. Silent Lab, clunky card in his hand, would shut down his Mew. Mm -hmm. um, probably doesn't want to play that one down. Uh, VB down for Knockout. Field Blower... And are we ready to pivot to Sableye Guzma? Yep. Sableye Guzma. I like getting Guzma out of there. It's definitely going to be a utility card for mm -hmm. him uh, throughout the rest of this game, especially so far ahead on prizes now that he'll have to go after things like the Klefki, things like uh, the Ditto Prism. Mm -hmm. And, you know, where he can't hit monster numbers, you got to hit those uh, those smaller Pokemon when you can. So he does have teammates here. I mean, uh, putting that trash lynch in the active spot, he's going to grab a psychic energy for sure. And this is the tough spot here. So your one card is going to be the psychic energy, but your second card has to be a draw supporter. He does have Ultra Ball, so he can't get another Lele, but that's also another liability. So it's a very awkward teammates. You almost wish teammates three cards right now because you're going to have to get a draw card and you're going to have to get a second energy unless you're going to bank off of another Lele play. Noah going through his deck fairly quickly, selecting two cards. Uh, you're inclined to think one of them is at least a Psychic Energy to be able to attack. Uh, we'll see here in a moment if you're right. Uh, psychic Energy versus Seeker. So uh, versus Seeker, just as good as grabbing a Supporter. He mm -hmm. does have Colrus in there, which is obviously going to draw him at least eight. Um, Garbotoxin Garbodor coming in, activating okay. uh, Wonderlock uh, on the Klefki, taking a knockout, shutting down abilities. So now, kind of insulated from... Oh, he could have grabbed the Field Blower last turn, too. That's probably why. So, like, the turn before this for Noah, he could have actually evolved into Garbotoxin and done the Clef Key play. But he opted not to, knowing that Simon could just grab the Field Blower. So he banked on seeing what Simon's first prize grab was going to be, if he was going to opt to do this play or not. Uh, Sableye maybe a bit of a misstep for Simon. I definitely think Guzman is the correct choice, but his first inclination there was to go Field Blower mm -hmm. and... Um, the, the Field Blower and Sableye. Mm -hmm. Changes minds, elects to grab Sableye Guzma, and now is out his one copy of Field Blower uh, for this turn and for the ability lock he's currently under. So Mew's not going to be able to attack this turn. Um, he can. Does that energy just attached to Pseudo Widow? Was that, was that from last turn? That energy was attached, I believe, uh, earlier in the game. Okay, so he actually one can, of his first attachments. He over. can watch and learn back with the trash lands, but after looking at Noah's start, I don't think there's that many items in the discard pile to pull off a significant amount of trash lands power. Um, but all he needs is six. And I think that's what he's looking at right now. One, two, three, three four, four, five, five. five. Noah doing great, just not giving him enough to just get over the hill mm -hmm. and, and take a knockout. <coughs> Excuse me, Counter Energy, one of the cards off the teammates. The other one, a mystery card to be seen shortly. <laughs> counter Energy is not going to do much. I mean, I guess it counts as still one Cuddleless Energy, even though he's not behind on prizes, so that's probably going to be why he's attaching it to the Pseudo Widow here, maybe. Um, let's see. Or he can still, I mean, he can still use Encounter if he wants to look for a certain Pokemon from the Mew. That's Mew's attacks, which you deck for a Pokemon to put in your hand. Um, I don't think it's necessarily worth um, committing an energy to the board Agreed. to do that. Um, so just going to bench that Sableye from Dark Explorers with the Junk Hunt attack. Also mm -hmm. Confuse Ray, which we saw come into play game one. 
<clears throat> interesting uh, to see where an attachment, if at all, goes. Okay. So maybe he is going to go for that trash lynch play. Is there six items in the discard? One. Yep, there's five. There's two, five three, as we counted. Four. Noah's checking. That's just short. That's not going to be a knockout. Hmm. So, fun note here, and I'm curious if this is actually going to pan out that way. That puts it at oh, 20 HP left. He can Distortion Door, get one damage counter on it, and if that gear team goes back to the bin from like a Skyfield bump, he can Distortion door, door again later. That's correct. We can also see uh, Oricorio Supernatural Dance, uh, which is a good way to just ping some stuff off. Mm -hmm. I think maybe Simon, what he was looking at, I mean, amongst other things, uh, was also taking a good mental note of what Pokemon are actually in Noah's discard. Yeah. Seeing, you know, how many... Uh, how many damage counters he can put on Noah's side of the board if Supernatural Dance Ooh. becomes... Uh, so not Colrus, and since he got that Zorak off the top there, he, he uh, opted to do N instead, which I like more, putting Simon down a three, and let's let's begin that catch-up. Yeah, uh, Noah's going to be able to use Trade before he activates Wonderlock with mm -hmm. the Klefki to uh, put it on the Garbodor to completely nullify any abilities on Simon's side of the board while without hampering his own too, too bad. Uh, I gotta say, while why, uh, how it's looking right now, um, I mean, we are talking about Simon here, but I, I think this is probably gonna go to a game three, and uh, I'm curious how it's gonna pan out with the with the with the clock ticking as it is. Did you say you think it's gonna go to a game? I three? think it's gonna go to. A, oh, sorry, no, no one won game one, so yeah, I think Noah is gonna be sealing this game up. Sorry about that there. Uh, yeah, I, I'm, I have a tendency to agree with you. You can never count Simon out, though. Um, his deck is built on that rally back ability, r uh, the, the rallying back tendencies. Uh, mm -hmm. And kind of hard to say rally back yeah. when he's got a shaman in got the deck in with the, the deck. Rally, back, uh, rally back attack name. Mew, again, easy promote. Trash Lanch knockout. Simon taking a look. His abilities are off. No access to that field blower. Elected not to pick it last time. Chose that Sableye. Dark Explorers. And now maybe... Maybe regretting that a little bit. Mm -hmm. Yeah, definitely, especially right now with that cleft key there. Uh, absolutely, um, and no way to attack with Mew. No way to attack with anything really because he's Noah's still catching up on that prize race right now. Soon Noah's going to go from four to three, three to two, and then Simon will finally be able to do what his deck is meant to do. And so, that I guess, is so I guess counter. because of that, we can't count it out just yet because Pseudo Widow will eventually be live. But if Noah can find a way to get to those immediate attackers, um, we can he can seal this game up. If there's anything uh, we learned in the last two days is, one, Simon's ability to roll heads on dice. <laughs> um, and also, never count anybody out. Uh, if you recall yesterday, Frank Persick against Charlie Lockyer, yep. down down by four prizes, six to two. Uh, used uh, Splatagucci, I believe is what he was calling it, to rally back and actually take the win through a deck out. Yep. Because Charlie had made one misstep that seemed rather innocuous in the middle of the game. So certainly don't want to count anybody out, especially a deck that plays a bunch of cards with the word counter in it. Yep. Teammates for two cards, or a choreo. Prism Energy down on or a choreo. Supernatural Dance is live. Um, another way, I think uh, I heard Noah count and say there's three. Mm-hmm. So where uh, where are you favoring putting these other two counters? Other one. Um, if he has uh, three, yeah, so two and one, correct. Um, and Zorark, just in case he gets roadblocked, he can yep. still step up, watch and learn, and take the knockout off weakness. Simon's got all the lanes He covered. knows all the numbers. He knows all the numbers he needs to hit with his deck. Um, super impressive. Still, still a lot to absorb with his deck right now because it has a lot of moving pieces to get to this core strategy and um, we see here right now, or Corio, which we didn't get to see in the other matches, but this one here, putting in some work. Simon, though, it is t to note, putting himself further ahead in the prize trade. Um, I think Noah is very much so taking into consideration what Simon has available to him because Noah hasn't really played from this position in the game. Ooh, this is interesting right now. Um, Zorak's going to come up here, and even if it takes a KO here, so that – doesn't uh, no, it doesn't activate uh, watch and learn just yet. So he can safely take a KO here. 
Exactly right. So the double attach watch and learn mm -hmm. uh, came up to do 100 to the Trash Lance Garbodor, Skyfield mm -hmm. coming down for Noah. Um, but like I said, Simon so far ahead in the prize trade now. Noah actually fighting from behind, uh, which isn't very common, especially in this matchup. So interesting uh, to see, one, how Noah approaches this and how Simon tries to close the door. Does he play? He can't really play the slower game and let Noah catch up. Mm -hmm. He's got to keep putting the pedal to the metal. Noah's probably feeling like, well, these are kind of uncharted waters. I've never been playing from this position in the game. I don't really know what Simon has access to to be able to close this thing out. There goes another N. And an N to two, hoping it sticks and making it easy on him for the rest of the way. Hoping that this N uh, just provides Simon with a big old goose egg, not mm -hmm. nothing of value. And Noah can just announce Riotus beating a couple times and cross the finish line. Good news for Simon, though. Every time Noah plays an N, he's not playing a Guzma, and Simon is kind of getting control over what knockouts he's giving like to, like to Noah. There is the one trade he has there. He also got another Zorg GX. He's probably going to evolve here. Tapalele, Zorua. No f oh, there is a Flowstone as well. So N to 2 plus Garbotoxin is going to be live right now. Smart move, benching the Lele before the Garbotoxin 2 to get him a guaranteed supporter. So getting the guaranteed supporter now has the float stone to be able to uh, reactivate Garbotoxin. Simon, uh, when he took his fourth prize, he did grab that field blower. It has been end back into the deck. Mm -hmm. However, Simon does have uh, a lot of outs with order pads, uh, versus seekers, and naturally drawing supporters. Ooh, dousing machine too. I think he's, I think he's gonna hold on to that. I think he just hold on to dousing machine right now and go ahead and just activate this ability here. Because dousing machine can also give back another supporter as well. So you probably propagate now, activate the Garbotoxin, and just um, uh, take your KO. Seems like a fairly uh, straightforward plan. Uh, sometimes the worst thing you can do is overthink yourself in situations like this, try mm -hmm. and get fancy. Uh, just do the correct order of operations, get yourself the resources you need, put the onus on your opponent to match uh, what you're bringing to the table. And uh, as we know, Simon's deck not really built to fight from being this far ahead. We'll see what happens. Order pad. It's going to be clutch. It's going to be huge. Does he get it? He does there's not there's get a five. it. Order, Order pad number, number two. two. Oh. oh, no. The the dice roll is coming back to haunt. Simon no, only bit. Articuno in hand. That is it. You Inst can't instruct either. Garbotoxin's live. Noah may have just done it with that N. Order pads failing the kid when it mattered most. And here we are. Simon considering benching the Articuno. I think he gave up a little bit right there. Victini coming up, V beat down. I think he's just trying to figure out what he doesn't mind losing. We have Noah, three prizes remaining. Simon, two prizes remaining. He will get at least two more draw steps to try and find something to unlock the clumsiness that his, uh, his hand has become. We know... Noah has the Guzma off the Lele. Watch and learn Sudo Udo stressing all of Simon's resources yep. here. It's it's getting to that point right now. It's Simon needs a serious top deck here to get back. He needs to be a Sycamore. He has the cards in his deck. To get, he needs to find a way to get there. Is it a Sycamore? Ah, oh, it's a Prism Energy. Energy. Junk Hunt. So a Junk Hunt can get him back a Verse Seeker. And probably the Computer Search. No, you probably want to get the... the, the uh, you need to grab... The Verse Seeker and maybe the Order Pad. Um, or the f no, the field board's not it's still in the deck, so for I sure first seeker. Versus seeker for Sycamore, um, because you won't, have enough, you won't have enough cards in hand to get uh, to do yeah. anything with the computer. Exactly, so maybe yep. it's order pad. Order it might pad. actually just be order pad. Uh, does he have like the uh, special charge in his discard pile? I think we just went by it as well. He could put some more energy back into his deck. Rescue stretcher can also maybe counter catcher Pseudo as well. Pseudo. Rescue stretcher. So uh, uh, the thought here is versus seeker in one of the pieces. I think rescue stretcher. Because what's going to happen, he's going to have to hit off of this, hit this KO right here from the Zorg is Rescue Stretcher watch and learn for game. Yep, putting Rescue Stretcher versus Seeker in the hand. It's on Noah's turn. Noah has to, yeah, he, technically Noah doesn't really have to do anything. He has an end. He could do an end. He could just take away exactly what Simon just set up. And I would 100% do it. Yeah, I mean, y you know you're you have to. you're going with a mystery mystery percentage rather than the almost 100 percenter yep. of you know you're getting stretcher to watch and learn and you know you're getting yep. sycamore. So yep, and uh, Simon thinning out his deck as well. Noah doing the same, 
Trashland Scarbador coming in. Might see a hard retreat. Do it. Got to end. Got to end. You got any more cards you can drop down? Drop the Zeru. I mean. We've seen Simon draw off of the end to two and just get the heat. The so. heat. So. Uh, putting the end directly in hand, not playing it quite yet. Thinking about anything else that they may want to put on board. I think Noah's getting a little nervous benching that Zerua because it's an e it might be or a, 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 an or easy knockout. Um, I was thinking more for that tri-edge, the patented uh, yeah. STL maneuver. Yeah. All right, Simon's deck looks about ooh, 17 to 20 cards. It's going to be a close one. It's going to be tight. All right, this is this is big. All Simon right. notorious to keep it us to our, glued to our seats. It's, it always comes down to the end with uh, with Simon here. Sh giving that a good shuffle. Wants, uh, wants two good cards after Noah cuts to, to find themselves to the top. Nine minutes, 40 seconds left here in this top eight match. Is Simon going to pull it all? Let's see if he can make this thing close. What did, does he have there? Counter catcher is one of them, I think. Okay, let's see what is there a s for a secret for a secret more. What was off the top? Rescue stretcher off He's the top. He's moving fast. It has to be something he has. He has to have something. No freaking way. No freaking Watch way. Him. Oh my no god. No freaking way. Who is this? What kid? is going on? Who is this kid? No Who way. Is this kid? Oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Eight eight and a half minutes left. Eight and a half minutes left. That's where let's we're go. At. Get That's it rolling. Oh, end to two. Mew, FCO, Rescue Stretcher off the top, Counter Energy, Count it. Let's go to game three. STL, not done here today in Toronto. Let's take it to the woodshed. I hear it. I, I hear it back <laughs> No, it just says back there. He goes, oh, I knew it. I knew it. Oh, man. Um, oh, my Something God. we have to note. I'm taking a quick look at the clock. 8.30 left in this match. There's no way. Tie rules. How does that work for us in top eight, Jeff? Awesome. Do you know those rules right off right now as far as how sudden death works there? Um, so I guess so. Well, what what is the determinant for the winner of game three right now? Is it prizes? Is it? It goes to one prize. So if it, so, since both players will have one win, and when time gets called, if there's not a certain point in the game, right? I First thought it was a new. Taken. I thought it was a new rule that once someone got to. Mm-hmm. Okay, so there you go. Least prizes remaining. This game will start, so least prizes remaining. So this is interesting. So this will come down. Noah has to put the pedal to the metal to take knockouts so that the counter comeback mm -hmm. can't happen for him to get leapfrogged in the last turn. Yep. Um, wow, that freaking end of two, my god. End of two. This kid, this kid having too much fun. These guys are set up. We've got 723 left. Kettler on the ones and twos on the sideline giving us uh, giving us the noise on how this is going to break down when we inevitably, unless somebody gets benched, um, going to end. Bridget, so it's not going to be Noah. It's not going to be Noah. He's, he's putting a couple pokes down. He's probably going to get this dead get another Zerua and just – Probably just you know quick pass, maybe even attach an energy. No, he probably won't. He plays in a hand simmer, so probably won't attach. Um, doing a quick inventory check right now. Uh, neither of these uh, folks are playing uh, in hand simmer, my guy. I thought I saw one on the list earlier. My no apologies. Worries. So to note, Simon, you know, while Noah is resolving his Bridget here, to note, Simon Sableye, um, Probably the best starter after Mew FCO mm -hmm. uh, on your first turn because you're okay committing an energy there. Uh, you're going to go through a couple cards turn one uh, if it's going anywhere near to normal. And junk hunting, just anything back, is just always a positive experience. Order pad, here we go. Uh, oh, it was the 0 for 3. Definitely 0 for, uh, 0 for 3 now, for sure, oh uh, on the gosh. last three order pads. Rainbow energy. She's going to junk hunt the order pad back. Okay, Sycamore. Mm, Sycamore. How many... Alexis Silent Lab, interesting, uh, interesting move. Won't there. be able to that ditto. Won't be involved that ditto. Counter energy going to the bin. Worth noting, Cabalion as well. Revenge blast, a big attack in the late game, for sure. You can see that Aura Corior has a Mew in the front right there. Okay, the distortion, really interesting. It puts a right to the bench. 
has I don't believe he has a very good way to. I would have liked to see the order pad before the benching because if you get computer search. You yeah, you could have could have done that there. All right, let's see these prizes: Victini or Corio, double Sycamore counter catcher. Um, not the worst, not the best. Yep. Um, at least we know he has access to all his energy, which is what Simon's looking for. And this is the uh, easiest double way. Double pad right here off the jump hunt. High roll to the max. Take this kid to Vegas. Here we go. Going back to Noah's turn. Can he start getting these quick knockouts here? We do have a Zork GX Parker to come. Oh, to the bench. Okay. Propagate trade. No, he's just yeah. He's just he's he not can't propagate. lab. Oh no, you're, you're he's right, not you propagating. Me, me. He's just yep. playing it out. He's just discarding all, out of all. hand. We got that there. Everybody wilding out here. We got a field blower on the silent lab. Noah gonna look. What can I get here? Choice band on the Zorark. Ultra ball. I think a Guzma might have hit the bin there. We're gonna grab another Zorark here. What's he looking I at? I think you try to evolve your Ditto now. Shaman. Shaman. Interesting. Huh. Okay. I think he's looking for that DCE to do the Guzman play possibly. I think it's yep. he, I think he is eyeing that down for sure. Probably has a versus seeker in hand. Set up for four for five. It's actually five. Misses the DCE. Mm. The Guzma is live. Um, if he wants to be, he's gonna have to pass here. A uh, couple versus seeker dowsing machine. Does dowsing machine anything in his discard that dowsing machine can buy back to give him a shot Laser at? Laser could be helpful here to put to sleep so you can't junk hunt again. But that's about it. So Simon has to know now that Noah missed. Simon has to know now that Noah missed on that DCE. So Simon has to take in a – oh, well, he has the Ultra Ball. So he Dowsing Machine for the Ultra Ball. Find yourself – does he play two Shaman, just out of curiosity? Uh, he does play two Shaman. Maybe is are we? Maybe we're just in ha max high roll mode. Maybe Noah's taking a page out of Simon's book and saying, let's just let's just go with it. All right, trade Zor number two. Yeah, Zorak GX. So we're going to get a trade a little less uh, intense high yeah. roll uh, by g getting a Zorak GX to try and Yeah, they've benched with. two Shamans, and e e while the V-Create is active, that's still huge liabilities. I could just put Simon right back in this game, right into this game. Was that teammates and uh, uh, Garb? Yeah, it looks like a Trash Lynch. Trash Garb coming down. Well, well, he does. if he has Guzman in the discard pile, he can go out. And actually, there's no items in the discard pile for him to even – do anything with yep, so. he junk hunted him back yeah um and i think simon here gonna roll his order pads and junk hunt him right back in um just gonna continue his setup so unfortunately not more time in this game right I now know, because the I way know. simon has right now with this little order pad chain is insane okay he says i've got one order pad in the bank um does he want to roll the other order pad now kind of do the search at once nope he's gonna pick something first Order pad. Computer search has been the the order of the day. Elects to grab a versus seeker. Maybe battle compressor is in hand so he can compress some stuff out. Potentially there. Let's see what his order uh, his other order pad does. And I, I'm guessing battle compressor is not in his hand the way he's shuffling already. If I feel like the way he's been moving, he would have already started his search for the battle compressor. Yeah, maybe just going to lean on that sycamore that he knows is already in there for the first turn of the game. Let's see here. Order pad number two. Where's the die at? Another Heather four. Heads. Order pad's coming in po possibly at a little bit of a, a worse time than what he may have needed the previous game here. But he still got there. And yep. there's the battle compressor. So Battle compressor. Uh, it's got to go grab a teammates, right? Uh, he – he, he has teammates in hand already. Okay. So goes to give him the Pokemon Ranger. He's not going to need that in this matchup. And then uh, let's see here. Pokemon Ranger, I think the other card he pulled there was a Mew FCO because um, I believe Simon already has a Rescue Stretcher in hand. Okay. So you could probably go ahead and, like, you know, it's like pseudo Ultra Ball be able to pull the Mew right back onto the bench off of that compressor. Yeah, Mew FCO, Pokemon Ranger, Mr. Mime are the three that hit the bin, I believe. Stretcher from UFCO is predicted. I'm trying to think of the best way he can get a knockout here at Versus all, but there's, there's nothing he can do right now. Uh, update from the other match. Uh, Sam Ertman won against Russell Lapar. Russell, who's had such great luck against those Trevenant decks, couldn't find it here in the top eight of Toronto, finds himself in the bottom four of the top eight. 
winner of this match will be going on to face uh, against Sam in that Trevenant matchup as well, as uh, to note. Noah would love to see that. Simon, less than excited if, uh, if he makes it through uh, this particular matchup here. Another painful Sycamore counter energy going to the discard. Um, again, I'm not sure how impactful this will be based on how much time is actually left. Mm -hmm. um, if we understand correctly, once time is called, they will play the three, and whoever has the most prizes taken will win the game. Here we go. Clock ticking down. About to to about 15 seconds left on the clock. Let's see who's going to get this first KO here. Ultra Ball. Or, sorry, Trade. He did two trades. Okay. Two trades, two trades. Still can't find that DCE. This no is rough. Guzma. This is rough. And time is going to be called on Noah. So Noah's going to be turn zero. Simon's going to be one. So Simon goes last. So at least Simon's going to go into his turn knowing exactly what the criteria for victory are going to be. Mm -hmm. Noah has to navigate. Do I? Okay. The, the, the rules of the top eight are being uh, explained as they were uh, to us by Kettler, to the players by the table judge. So we're going to hold off because their uh, headsets are down right now. This is the match. We are waiting for uh, the top eight to resolve, and then we'll have a clear picture of the top four, which looks to be uh, heavy, heavy with the trees. Yep, right now as it is Jimmy P. Night March going against Will Jenkins with the Trevenant matchup there, and then on this side of the bracket is going to be Sam uh, going up against the winner of this match right now. So I'm sure Sam is currently cheering on Simon, uh, but we'll see what happens here. All right. Judge doing us a favor there, putting uh, the one and the three dice on Simon's side and the two dice on Noah's side. Um, Noah's going to have to very carefully select which Pokemon. That Shaman EX might come down uh, because depending on items, uh, Noah might be able to copy, for example, a Trash Lanch and take a knockout. With Watch and Learn? With Watch and Learn. Okay. So it opens up more possibilities that way. Um, a distortion Door, Dimension Valley, Counter Energy on Just a Shaman. Now, that's what I was thinking is more Distortion Door on a Shaman. That's a, that's a clean 130 to KO a Shannon. Uh, sorry, not Shannon. <laughs> Shaman, now my wife. Uh, <laughs> to get a Counter Energy on a Giratina with Dimension Valley out. So, uh, let's see. Uh, just, uh, just a fun thought experiment while the players are still chatting with the judge. Um, Articuno, Choice Band. Counter energy, counter gain, two heads. Knock out a shaman for three prizes. Take the dub. It's, it's, it's out there for the kid. Like technically, he has a chance as long as that shaman stays on the. Board. Listen, the way he's been hitting these order pads and his way those last couple Articuno try just flips has been going. I say that's like the number one option to be honest. <laughs> God, that would be. I would melt. I would just melt. Oh my goodness. That would be absolute insanity. Noah going through his turn at this point. Clock no longer a factor. They know uh, exactly how many turns there are left, and they're going to go through them, make sure they don't make any missteps in this stage of the game, uh, and try and get themselves ahead in the prize race to take the win here in the top eight of Toronto Regional and move on to top four. Noah with a favorable matchup waiting for him. Simon, a little less than favorable waiting a for less him. Than favorable. But, you know, the kid would love to get to top four and get a piece of the glass. You know? He'll get a little piece there, get a little extra coin, too, at that as well. So uh, uh, definitely would love to see this kind of victory right now in the home turf, too. In the home turf. Uh, so is that just a pass? or? Nope, that was an N. That was okay. an energy attachment to Trubbish N. Okay. Uh, that Shaman is just so... Well, this is actually big, too, is that um, unless no no, he doesn't play the escape or anything, that attachment to the Trubbish means that he's not going to get a KO at all this turn. That's correct. Let's check real quick. Uh, and he already used his field blower already as well. Already field blower. The tool's already on the Zorg. There's no okay. way to retreat it. So, okay, so this is good. So if – well, this is not necessarily – good but if simon goes into his turn noah doesn't take a knockout simon can try and cobble together with with the mew can attach dimension valley guzma and distortion door the shaman take two prizes did he attach distortion door to Sh yes okay so then noah can only he'll take two prizes noah can only take one because simon doesn't play any exes and, and then that's the game that's that the way. game so that's that's the player out there is to go after one of those so shamans that right now. being down trying to get to that dce to guzma up the watch the and learn yep. where he whiffed might be uh noah's demise just to pass noah has an opening here 
Let's see. We're going to prism off right the now. top. Prism off the top needs Guzma Dimension Valley. Let's see what we have in and energy. He needs energy as well. He already has the energy. I saw him pull off the top. Okay. So he needs Guzma Dimension Valley. Simon taking a look. I feel like if he would have had it, he would have he he would have gone through with the kid knows the deck really well. We, we just got moved to the front. Stretcher got moved to the front there. So he, was, he was eyeing down to see what all is in this discard pile currently. Nest, Nest ball. ball. Maybe for uh, an Orangaroo. Work his hand down, get another crack at it. Uh, I, I, I almost wish right now that that V Creative team was not prized right now because that could be a clean 120 on a Shaman right now. Oh, yeah. That's an easy, easy, easy uh, 120 there with the V beat down. That 15. Is I an Arcuno? Is this it? On the Klefki? What's the Klefki worth? 60? 70, I think. So he need two heads. Unless uh, he's able to get that Giratina in a discard pile and do a Distortion Door. Uh, which, no Skyfield. He doesn't run any way to bump his own rally back Shaman. Hmm. Rally back Shaman. Very interesting choice here. Flippity flap. And so, okay. So here he's saying... If you knock anything out on my side, I've got um, a revenge uh, attack on your Shaman for knockout. Also true. Well, yeah, the 30 plus the 90 there, so that is also an option as well. So. But an energy does need to go down somewhere. I'd like, if he has two energy in hand, I like putting one on the uh, Shaman. Mm -hmm. What else does he see? He has Order of Head. What else does he have here? Versus Seeker. <laughs> Versus Seeker here is. This is this 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 these are very very difficult waters. Is to he navigate going for here. it? Is he going to get a Sycamore and just go for it? Well, he needs to find his Guzma or a, a counter catcher for next turn. Counter catcher for next turn. Here's that's the thing that's unfortunate now too for for Noah is that Simon gets the the last end of the deal right now. So exactly. So so even and you know because of the rules of how this breaks down. Noah can't keep ending Simon out of his end game mm -hmm. now. The end game happens at the end of Simon's next turn. Mm -hmm. Whatever, however that shakes out. So Simon going I for think the Sycamore. I think he goes he's going to put it. an energy down. He's going to Sycamore. And he's going to try and find more stuff. And he can junk hunt too. He can get a computer search. He can get a ton of stuff with that junk hunt. Sableye, bench pressing planets out there, not dealing any damage, but finding Simon resources consistently. Going on to the Giratina here, so that's two outs now for that for that heavy hit attack of the Shadow Impact. Switch. Switch. I think he's, he's just burning cards now. Maybe protecting all. Oh, that's two more energy that just hit the bin and the Oranguru. Okay, um, so switch. Oh man, this is this is airtight. What did he get? Can't see it. The can't switch. See it. The switch allows him to make the most of the cards he gets. The, his decision tree gives him the most information, so he can still retreat back into that stable eye if mm -hmm. he wants to junk hunt. Okay, understandable. Choice band, reasonable attach. Um, Articuno is in there. Articuno is in there. No one knows he has to take a knockout next turn. On what though? There's so many threats sitting on Simon's side of the board because he kept dropping energies turn after turn. Uh, Noah won't be able to just automatically eliminate everything. No, it, it's it's going to come down to the, like the uh, as we were just mentioned, the Simon's last turn right now. Noah's only going to be able to take one prize at the very, very most, and him spending his energy around to the Giratina as well gives him options uh, for routes to KOs right now. So, not knowing what's in Simon's hand right now, I venture to say he's going to junk hunt for two more order pads. Yep, he's played it close to the chest. Um, depending on, like, I, we can't see his hand. I know Articuno's in there. That blue is. Yeah, yeah, the full art blue right there. Dowsing computer machine, computer search. Computer search, computer search, yep. computer search and order pad maybe. So he's gonna play it now, so that way he could junk hunt it right back. So it's in his hand right now. Okay. So airtight. The this just in, it, this is getting to me, man. This is this is gonna come down to Noah's decision tree, and how Simon hits resources in his third turn. He's committed to going to the junk hunt. He retreated back into the sable eye. We see computer search. Simon's going to buy that back. Mm -hmm. As long as he has another piece of the puzzle next turn, 
with that computer search, he's got it. This is forcing Noah to have to do it end this turn. He's seen his junk hunt about to happen. Knows for sure the computer search is coming back. So Noah has to end his next turn just to, just to leverage his chance here. And Simon knows that as well. That's why he played the switch. That's why he's uh, attaching the choice bands because he knows – if Noah doesn't end me, I've got it. If Noah does end me, I still get six mm -hmm. uh, six draws and my draw for the turn to do my best. Mm -hmm. And he set himself up to need a minimal amount of resources to be able to finish this thing up. Noah has to end, has to take a knockout, has to cross his fingers, toes, and everything under the sun and hope that Simon fans it all. And if history has taught us anything, Simon doesn't miss. Simon has not missed yet, so... I'm sure Nova's Noah's shaking in his boots right now for this to see what happens here because this next turn is huge and Noah needs to end big time. Order pad, computer search. All right. So order pad's great because that buys him another out to his computer search mm -hmm. to get whatever piece he's missing, whether that's energy, counter catcher, whatever it might be. Simon confirming the rules over here with Noah. This is getting so – this is down to the wire. This is down to the wire. The tru uh, – the Ultra ball, egg – sorry, go ahead. I was going to say the junk hunt has resolved. We're over to Noah. Noah going to ultra ball away some trash. In this case, it's an egg and uh, foul play Zorark. Foul play Zorark. What is Noah eyeing down here? Does it matter? It, d it does. I think he's just trying to get, get stuff out of his deck possibly to see better chances to get the DCE for the KO. Uh, and it's the thing right now, too. I think in a normal game right now, Noah probably doesn't go right for the KO just yet. Uh, but right now, because of the rules in place, he has no choice but to get a KO right now this turn. So get to Trashlands Garbodor. Is there an argument that can be made to get a Garbotoxin Garbodor, trade your turn, Klefki, mm -hmm. and then Mew can't attack? Yeah, then it's only and on. Then, and then you're on Distortion Door only. It looks like it's what he's eyeing down right now. He did put the Klefki on it right now. Um, but he grabbed the Trash Lanch Garbodor. I mean, he could be looking at, like, a, a Sycamore play. Uh, oh, he's just thinning cards out. Maybe – oh, I, th I thought that was a Pokemon communication. I was going to say he thinned it out. He's going to pull end to hand. He grabbed the Trash Lanch Garbodor. I'm perplexed. Uh, I'm guessing I it's prize. It has to be prize at this instance here. If he, if, if, if he pulls the Klefki here and he might have been eyeing that down. Um, no one knows. Or he did the Klefki so he could bench another Trash. Did no one even take a prize? He needs the energy. He needs the DZE to take a KO. Because he attached that choice band, he can't even hit his float stone to get out of there. Yeah, exactly. That's what, yeah, that's what we're referencing before is that. Like the only route last turn, that's why he did get the KO turn one, is his only way there was to hit the DCE. An interesting thought here. If Noah plays down Skyfield and puts Simon on having to hit Dimension Valley to attack, he can dump his Shaman if he can get another Pokemon down. Noah playing to his outs, too. I like this. However, the onus is still on Noah to take a knockout this turn. A Trubbish still sitting on the bench is still going to give Simon a W, and it just doesn't matter what's out yeah, there. Yeah, that's very true. Well, it, it, but in this instance, it does because um, if, if Noah does get the KO here at one point here and he, you do that play there where you're saying that he gets a chance to bump that Shaman off with the, with the Sky Field, he's only going to have options to one prize attacker because he's not going to get to that 210 right away outside of maybe the Watcher and Suda Wudo if he gets to that point also. A lot, a lot of stuff is a lot of moving parts, man. Yep. It's like a Hot Wheels track. We're going everywhere. <laughs> We're going all over the place. Loop de loops, flips, jumps, trying not to crash and burn before the finish line <laughs> here. <laughs> Noah giving a count. Now Noah has to count everything, right? He has to count his own items. He has to count all the Pokemon. He has There's to count so much to look out for. <laughs> Simon's over here just cheesing, like, I don't know, knock something out. I'll yeah, see what I get off I'm these draw six. Everything. You know it's, it's okay. going to be gas. I know it's going to be <laughs> gas. It's going to be order pad, computer search on top of everything else I need. Probably teammates, too. You never Noah, know. Noah's hand fell flat. No DC? Cold. No DC? I don't he, think. He I has, don't, has he traded yet, though? I don't think he's traded he yet. He hasn't traded yet, and he hasn't activated. Uh, so he's got – oh, he's got two DCs in there. Okay, so he's going to be able to at least hard retreat. Yeah. Um, if he wants it. Definitely does not want to open up another avenue of attack through that Zorark. And does not want to riotously beat here. Rescue Stretcher oh, cutting out the Oricorio line uh, on a Trubbish. Noah's thinking of it all. He's trying to give himself the best opportunity for Simon to have bricked off on this end. Man, this is crazy. Yeah, I think you're right. He's probably going to hard retreat to Zorak and attack with Trash Lance, but are there, there should be enough items in this card to take out a attack on a Sableye, right? Uh, yeah, I'd, I'd like to think so. All right, first trade into the Zorak, another Zorak. Trade two. Ooh. Ooh. 
Noah just hit the red card. <laughs> Obviously, of course. This is exactly what Noah did last time. Oh, Second my Second last turn of the game, Noah uh, ends himself oh, to two. Sees I can't look. I can't look right now. Noah just, sees his – Oh, my two. gosh. Good night. Oh. Variance is just – no wonder these oh. guys are in top eight. Oh, my gosh. Are just Dude, my heart just suck. For Simon. Yeah, this is tough. Four cards, but he doesn't need that many to combo off, right? He does it. He does it. No, you're, you're not wrong there. He needs a counter there. catcher and a counter energy. He needs any energy and a dimension valley and a counter catcher. There's a lot of different There's options There's a lot of here. combos. Counter catcher. Articuno. Articuno. Field blower. Uh, teammates. I think it was teammates. The teammates? If it's teammates, it's – oh, my gosh. I think it was teammates. Oh, I don't no, want to no, – don't, no. don't, don't galaxy lock me in. His hands are moving pretty quick. Articuno's in there. Can't mistake the blue. Noah hasn't announced an attack yet. I'm trying to figure out how do I get out of this jam. Oh my gosh! Oh, you put a robot through the widow. That's the additional Pokemon there. Oh man. Okay. Mew FCO. Okay, so now the question is, do I attack with Zorark? Did he just pass? Did he just, Did he just pass? pass? He just passed. So he just has to get one knockout. So what happens here? That's when we go through a sudden death game, I believe, if both no prizes were taken or even on prizes. They would start a new game. Oh, or it might be next prize taken, actually. But let's see here. Let's see if Simon can get out of this. Let's see what happens here first before we get to that point. So now it comes down to Guzma, Guzma Energy Dimension Valley. So he, yeah, he, need, he needs so, Guzma so Energy Dimension Simon Valley. Simon just said out loud, now it's the first one to take a prize. Uh, Noah is definitely set up to do that. Noah's, uh, Noah's guaranteed. And I think that was smart on his part there to not let the chance to do right as beating or trash lands for Watch Learn to do any plays here. He just left it in his hands here and not activate any counter cards on Simon's side. He left it fully in his hand. The ball's in his court. <sighs> this is the only chance right now off that red card is for him to pull off that Guzman play with the Giratina or the Mew. The way Simon's hand just bopped down onto the table, I don't think he has, uh, I don't think he has it. He, I think that was. I think you were right. Think that car teammates, was teammates are cold, so teammates not taking the knockout, being big here. Confused, Ray. <laughs> they just said, "Is that game?" I don't know. Confused, Ray. Show the double color list. Yep, yeah. there it is. <sighs> All right, race to the finish. Uh, great play. Great play by Noah. Uh, seeing, a, seeing a line, a, a little less conventional line, saying, okay, I end you to six. I red carded you to four. Yep. Let's put that red card was huge. Yep. That red card was huge. That, that was backbreaking for sure. And I think once he got the red card, maybe changed his approach mm -hmm. um, on how he wanted to proceed uh, and put it to the point where past that, first prize taken is the winner. Yep. Noah had energy all over his board yep. and said, okay, you had four cards. You're drawing one off the top. What did you find? Unfortunately, the supporter that Simon found was that teammates not quite good enough. Unfortunately there, and I think I think I feel like Noah realized that as soon as it got to that turn three thing point there is that if I could just control my side here, he can never activate any attacks that are worthwhile to take prizes at this point right now. And maybe from that point on he's kinda like, Let me skip to where I need to be so once it gets past that turn three, I have my initial knockout. Yep, exactly. Very well played by both players. Uh both of them working towards their outs. Um I I'm going to get confirmation if we have time for a winner's interview. I believe this match ran so much longer than all the others 100%. that uh, we might get stuffed on that. But great game regardless. We will be back shortly either with uh, the top four or a quick winner's interview. We will be right back.
Welcome back, everybody. Kirk Dupes next to Bay here alongside Top 8 Victor, not getting memed on this time around. Uh, <coughs> Noah, <sighs> Noah, how do you feel, my friend? Amazing and kind of dizzy. <laughs> um, we saw you go through. Now, uh, just a quick play we want to talk about that. You're uh, in the final turns, round number, or, uh, turn two. You trade, you hit the red card. Is that when you go from I was going to take a knockout to I'm not going to take a knockout at all? Or were you playing to not take a knockout that whole time? I was never going to take a knockout because I know that it's way easier for him to return a knockout if I am, like, aggressing. And I would have no way of taking a two-prize knockout. And then he'd probably just watch and learn, kill a Zorik, and then he would just win on the spot. So the only real option was to stall it out. Fair enough. He did a lot of junk hunting back in of key resources, order pads, things like that. So yeah. maybe on an end he could cobble something together. Uh, ended up falling just short, you not attacking. He actually had teammates in hand. So if you would hit in and take oh. a knockout, uh, he would have had the pieces to, to take the W there. Incredibly well played. Loved what you were doing with the garbage, garbage collection in the first game too. Yeah. Uh, just walk us through you. how you feel. Um, I'll, I'll break the news to you. You're playing Trevenant in uh, top four. Got to be liking that. Yeah, I don't mind. <laughs> Hopefully you can keep uh, keep up the intensity, keep up the proper play skill. Noah, you impressed us out there. Glad you didn't get memed on this time. <laughs> uh, and worst case Thank scenario, you. you're going home with the top four piece of glass. You got to be happy about that. Yeah, that's amazing. Glad to have you. Hopefully you're doing well on championship points. We'll be able to catch you running hot like this at Worlds. Um, possibly the way things are now, I would be able to get my invite off of purely challenges and cups and not have to go to any more regionals, although it would be very difficult to do so. All right. Well, I believe in you. Noah, thanks for taking the time. We're going to cut you loose for top four. You were the longest match, so you got work to do, kid. You're up. <laughs> All right. We'll be right back with the top four. John Kettler, Jeff Saran on the ones and twos. Catching a bit.